Realizing what's really real and what's not. And basically, it's that's all I got to say. Like I said, we can do this all day. Yeah, 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 we can Shadow's picture on the, the bus. Fucking Shadow, you need to cut your losses, babe, and just get the fuck out of there. Play it! Fucking play it! All that hate you were dealing with. Share this shit. And earlier today, I was just trying to tell you what was going on in the social media. Because it's getting kind of crazy. You don't and, say. Uh, and right there and then, you were like, stop, stop, stop. We got too much stuff that we got to do. Is the Masa video ready to shoot? Is uh, the Pray for Your Enemies video? The Murder Land remix? He's got so many things ready, but he was trying to steal from Lopez. Yeah. Hold on, stop. SPM wrote the shit that SPM said, so make little than people know that. Well, he wrote the shit that Shadow said. Anything that fucking Shadow was saying, just know SPM told him to say it. And, and Shadow don't even want to say it. They edited everything that Shadow said. They edited it out. Okay? Because Shadow, if anybody fucking knows what the fuck is going on, it's Shadow. Okay? So let's just draw that fucking line right now. And for Shadow to sit here and say, I'm a man of God and I believe in what's right and this, that, and the third. I don't see how you can stand behind Lowe's, Shadow. But hey, do you, babe. You got to account for your shit at the end of the day, not me. Play that shit. Uh, the thing is, Shadow, that I don't know what the fuck's going on, but I have heard what people are saying, and I really hate to waste time listening to, to any of that bullshit. Waste time, nigga. All you got is time. What are you talking about? <laughs> I was especially surprised that I and Lopez were saying what she was saying, and... The only reason that I'm going to talk about it today is because, you know, I don't defend myself. Huh. My but you are tonight. My getting bigger every month. Right. But you are tonight. But it's like the devil is buying my groceries. Yeah. The, the devil. devil is buying my groceries. He is the devil. Let's just, the let's just, groceries. okay, anybody that comes out with shit talking about El Diablo, Man, it's got a little devil. Shit. Keep brother. playing that shit but with this AI generated ass bullshit. Situation. Because I just want people to know how how fucking opposite that it can be. But yet people will really take this shit like it's the truth. He's a narcissist. And I want to see that. So Please. So what's he going to say? No, I want him to see that. Let's say what he's got to say because the receipts that I have mean everything. They're going to contradict everything he just said. Exactly. Pl keep playing because look, no, Check what's crazy? Mate, you yeah. know what's crazy? You know what's crazy in the way God and the universe works? I'm literally about to hit the stage to perform the whole, not the whole thing, but three tracks from the fucking EP diss track that I got coming for this motherfucker because he's got the right one. You know what I'm saying? I'm an artist. I'm going to express myself. I'm going to talk my shit. So literally, when I'm about to hit the stage and perform this shit, he's going live talking about his shit. Tell me if that is not God. Tell me if that is not just a fucking confirmation as I'm doing what the fuck I need to do, speaking my truth, saying what the fuck I gotta say, while this motherfucker's in here spreading lies. But go ahead, go ahead. This is all he has time for at the end of the day. Let's go. So maybe it'll help them in life that you just can't believe what motherfuckers say. In the end... Most people that get on there and run their mouth about SPM are usually broke. They got bills. He knows this. He knows this. He been making motherfuckers so broke. They're gonna do and say anything if it makes That's all he can say is, "Oh, they're broke. They're broke." Yeah, you're the, the gatekeeper. Talk about general shit. 
You're the gatekeeper. We talk about this story, bro. So I'm just going to let the world know what happened. Bye. And y'all can take it from there. Bye, star fitted, whatever the fuck. Um, Eat a salad? I do every day. That, and guess what? I didn't know if there's this ex manager at uh, the Dope House Museum. I was telling him that I hired I Lopez to work at the little store that we have inside the museum. And he was like, yeah. That was a lot of time and effort invested into her. And he no dropped effort. me. He dropped me because he's a pussy that didn't want to make no music. I mean, he didn't want to make no paperwork. Sambo didn't want to sit down and talk about paperwork. But you better believe he charged me 20% of what uh, SPM paid me for that fucking Murderland verse. You better believe that motherfucker sat here and charged me 20% off of a thousand. He, he got his little 200 or whatever, right? But... Anytime I asked him for paperwork, anytime I asked him for res- for fucking receipts, for shit that makes sense for us to sit down and sign together and actually work together, he couldn't do it. So the last time that I did it was June. June 22nd, this man dropped me. I have the receipts. He's like, we are no longer doing business. That We have nothing to do with each other. Okay, bet. So why are you sitting here trying to charge up my album in fucking August? Play that. We did a whole album. You know, using all of our resources, like yes. three, four months City, of work. Lou, yes, it does. But I told them. They her, say don't ever meet your know, idols. $10, they say that. that album. But honestly, that ain't even half of what I think we put into this. And then he said, but the album ain't selling to be honest with you. It wasn't even a part of it from the beginning, but now he was. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead. If the album wasn't worth it, they wouldn't be sitting here trying to fucking steal it from me out from under my ass. Let's just fucking call a spade for a fucking spade, you dumb motherfuckers. Let's just call a spade for a spade. If the album wasn't worth shit, you wouldn't be sitting here trying to pitch it once again. Two months later, after you dropped me, Sambo. Fuck. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna get into the next so I said, I'll take the thousand dollars. That ain't bad for an I am Lopez album. But they're telling me it's eight. They're telling me it's eight thousand. So now it's seven thousand. I guess according to him it's seven thousand. But but SPM said eight thousand. What happened to that thousand? We can't even get the numbers right. That's just that's a red flag. You get what I'm saying? These motherfuckers are lying. Come on, play that shit. Seven hundred dollars for song. I said, shit, bro. I'll give you seven thousand. That's a deal. I told him, I said, you know what, I'll give you $8,000, bro. Since you ain't getting nothing out of the deal, I'm going to put a little something for you. Oh, there so goes, the there agreement goes. was done, it was established. Bro. I told him he to swears. give him I would give him the money. He swears he's right. doing somebody a favor so, by yeah. giving the limosnas. He swears he's doing somebody a favor by giving them the limosnas. Do you know what a limosna is? A limosna is a handout. A limosna is something that you give to, you know, a panhandler on the street. That album is worth way fucking more than that. And you're sitting here, oh, speaking real pretty into Sambo's ear. Oh, I'm going to give you an extra thousand for your hard work. What the fuck did that man do? Make a couple phone calls and show up to one video? The videos that I have not even gotten ever from Manic or him? Like, come on, let's, like, 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 what, what? If anybody came the fuck up, if anybody came the fuck up, it's fucking Sambo and Manic. Uh. Confirmation, bitch. If anybody came the fuck up, it's them. They got paid off of something. Okay, Manic, whatever. He made the beats, whatever. But these beats were sitting in the vault. It's nothing he remade. The only one he remade was Kill Bill. That's the only one that he remade. All the other ones was sitting there, bro. And it's for a reason. Come on. Play that. The second I hung up the phone, I called I Am Lopez to make sure she knew what was going on. No, you didn't. Go ahead. No, he didn't, but go she ahead. was okay with what I was doing. These motherfuckers got me fucked up. Okay. Not only was she okay with this, Shadow but Oka. she was happy. She was like, hell yeah, fam. You know, let's bring that shit back to the dope house. That's no! No, no, no. Okay, no, bro. What? He told me, he's like, Lopez, I'm going to buy this album for us. Because you're a part of the dope house now. So I'm going to buy this album so that we can have it. That's what this man said. Go ahead. 
was like, cool, you know, and of course that kind of what is already working for us. She, she was working at Tone Pops Rep. Yeah, he wanted to right. get an artist and a fucking sales rep for $22 an hour. He wanted me to work on music and sell his merch for $22 an hour. You ain't doing OT like that. You ain't doing these big ass motherfuckers like that. You trying to pay them. Why is Lopez only getting $22 an hour to sit here and give her, give you all her energy? Man, fuck. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Play, play, play the music. I'm saying they watch it, nigga. They watch it. Play the music. One drop of discontent. So I pursued the deal. I told old Dallas that I wanted to hear that. Astro album. Boy, I know you're asking to go run and tell. I didn't like uh. things. Um, you don't need to talk on the intros of songs. You ain't saying shit. No, you're I'm trying to too. take my fucking writers. Back. He's sitting here trying to convince me to change every song. Because I asked him when we were talking about it. I said... Okay, so what songs what's what songs are we gonna adjust? What songs are we gonna change? He said all of them have something that needs to be done. He's like, we're gonna change something on all of them. Basically telling me he wants to take my writers. Because if you change one word, I don't know if you artists or anybody out there know, if you change one word on another artist's lyrics, you take thirty percent of the writers automatically. So not only did he want my shit. Not, not only did he want all of my shit, he wanted my writers too. Let's keep a fucking buck for a buck. Let's keep a spade for a spade. Play that. The outros were too extended. That was manic. That was manic, stupid ass. Care of. That's what I'm saying. This album was not like that. They, they, they want to sit here and fucking play with me. Sambo fucking cut everything short. This album was supposed to be a lot more. Not saying that it's not fucking fire now. But what I'm saying is, Manic did all this extra ass shit. Didn't fucking really... He, he, he wanted to be an artist on the song type shit. Like, play his fucking beats for 40, 50 seconds at the end. I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? Who does that? <sighs> Come on. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna change a few things. Yeah, you know, take a few blemishes. So that the beauty queen can have a better chance on one of the patches. The beauty queen. You see the way he. You see the way he's manipulative, right? That's edited as fuck. You, you see the tell. way he's manipulative, right? That was edited the beauty as fuck. queen. When, it comes in. when I tell you there's some shit in my oh, phone. It is edited. Everything edited. When, when I tell you there's some shit in my phone that will show you that this man sends subliminal messages to the women that he's trying to manipulate. Find that shit. Just why, just like he's sitting here talking about the queen, da da da, da. Still trying to stroke my ego. Like, I can't read him for Phil. Play it. Play it. I'm going to give you his number. You got to understand, though, Shadow, that the album had already been released. It was already on the internet. Exactly. That's a fact. The album was already on the internet. Me and Manic already had our agreement. We already had our splits. We already had our shit lined out the way it was supposed to be. So I don't understand where two months later, Samuel's in here trying to fucking sell it. It was already out. Please tell me how that makes sense. Hmm? How does that make sense? Please. And let's see how he tried to make it make sense. Please. Come continue. Continue. Con well, fucking continue. I got the message to manage. And I let's just let's wait, know. hold on. Let's just sit here and because I seen y'all coming from manual in the comments talking about you talking all this shit and you got SPM on his shit. This man, this man was someone that was respected and renowned because people didn't know all the fucking lies that's going on. Just know that the whole we, we finna change all this shit up. This shit don't mean shit yeah, about no, shit. shit the it's the no, fuck that. Fuck that. that. Fuck that. I will tag it myself. We're replacing all the SPM. Not not the Rashids. Not the Carolins. Not all the OGs. Not the Juan Gattis. We're not replacing all that. Anything with that motherfucker's face on it, though? Yeah. You finna paste it with a Lopez yeah, or a Losi. Day, you finna more... paste it with a Lopez or a Losi. I don't care. And at the end, fuck more, that. More you broke, you didn't pay shit. What are you talking about, bro? What are you fucking talking about? 
Tomorrow. If you know anything about an artist, artists are are, are are hustling and they're broke day to day. They're working day to day. Like all these niggas that you see with the chains and with the music and da, 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 all these motherfucking fake ass fucking rappers, they're trappers, nigga. They're fucking trappers. Yeah, they got that money. Real artists, real rappers. Yeah, we're struggling. I'm a mama four. Yeah, so you can say what you want about me being broke, bitch, but talented forever, making money for fucking ever, bro. So. SPM can say, we're broke, we're this, we're that. It's that ego that he's stroking at the end of the day. But let's just say, no, no, let's just say, though, a lot of people are broke because of that man. Because he has stolen from these people. Let's not fucking act like this man's not sitting here feeding himself off of other people's hard work. Let's not fucking play like we don't know that. And he wants to sit here and come out with a Facebook post talking about, oh, it's because, you know, you got to face that man in the mirror. Bitch, what? All you do is look in the mirror. That's all you have fucking time to do, bitch. What are you talking about? Yeah. But the people out here, we're trying to make it. We're trying to hustle. We got real fucking economic problems. We got real shit. We dealing in the real world. Your ass is locked up in there. Delusional. Out of touch. Sitting here talking about, oh, well, they're all broke because they don't face the man. No, they're broke because you're the man that stole from them. Let's just fucking line it the fuck That's out. That's what we doing, facing Okay? Shit. Okay? And if I gotta be that bitch, I will be that bitch. Because I said what I said back when I said, and I'm saying it what I said now because, okay, he wants to come step. He wants to have his little rebuttal. He wants to lie. Because that's what this is. It's a fucking lie. Then let's let's play the, mu- play the music. Play. Come on. If I'm gonna buy this album, it needs to be taken down. I wanna fix some things, and I'll release the album myself. So the next day they told me that the album had been taken down. Cool. Later that day, I ended up there so many, hey, they took down my album. You know, like she was concerned. I said, I told you to do that because I want to make the album better and I'm not sure I want to use every beat that's on the album. Right. Um, he wanted to take it. She said, okay. He wanted to so take you it. told them to take it down. I said, yes, ma'am. Why though? Okay. Why are you sitting here taking down something that's not yours? Why are you sitting here taking down something that is not yours? Why are you sitting here taking down something that is not yours? And okay, that wasn't just his fault. Manix bitch ass took it down too. Sambo, whoever the fuck had access to that. And that's what I'm saying. They never sat me at the table to tell me where it was distributed, who got what. They never wanted to sit me down and talk to me, bro. I have receipts where I've asked these men plenty of times for a contract, for a fucking agreement. You get what I'm saying? Like, I got the receipts. These people sit here and tried to play me. And now, here's his rebuttal. Oh, Lopez was cool. Yeah, I was cool. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So what did I do? I texted Manic right away. Because that's who my agreement was with. Not Sambo. Not SPM. Not any of these other motherfuckers. My agreement was with who? Manic Media. Because that's who produced and engineered my album. And before all this shit happened, we was good. We was getting paid. People was getting what the fuck they deserved. And then... People got greedy. People got greedy, and they got greedy, and they got greedy. And then they tried to sit here and steal my album out from under me. Here we go, here we go. Kill not one side of any disagreement. In fact... Of course, because my poker face is real. He's like, she didn't have any sign of disagreement. Yeah, because my poker face is real. I don't know what's going on, and the person I need to talk to is Manic, not you. So I'm not going to... Sit here and uh, 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 because hand. I don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna show my hand because I don't know. I don't know what y'all are doing. I need to talk to Manic, right? So that's what I'm trying to do. She told me that there were still four songs that Manic had not yet taken down. Right, because I looked it up when 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 SPM called me. He's like, "I'm gonna buy your album." Blah, blah, blah. I go and look up my album. All but four of those songs are no longer on streaming platforms. Without my permission, without my agreement, without anything, all but four of my songs are on streaming platforms. Okay? 
And so, so Maddox has control over the four songs that are on there right now? I don't know, because I don't know how he dropped it. That's the point, is I don't know how he dropped it. He was talking about CD Baby and this, that, and the third. When we first dropped one of my singles, he dropped three other songs on accident. That shit wasn't even supposed to happen. Actually, it was only supposed to be. It was only or they they were like pre pre sales or whatever. But they were never supposed to be out until the album dropped. Yeah. So Trojan Horse, Kill Bill, those two songs were already out before the album dropped, and they weren't supposed to be. Right. The only one that was supposed to be out was Pass Me That because it was a four twenty song, mm-hmm. and they didn't even drop that shit right. It's just been there. Well, here we go, guys. Y'all pay attention. So I told her, tell Shadow what those four songs are, and we'll let them know to take them down. So she did, and by the next day, those four songs were taken down. This is where it gets fucked up. Yeah. Because those four songs that they had taken down, and she was making sure got taken down, she was using us to get them taken down. I was using them to get them taken down? Wait! SPM, Carlos Coy. I was using uh, y'all to take them down? Oh. Hold on. Because you're telling me that they're getting taken down, right? I never gave an order to anyone. Not a manic media, not a sambo, not whoever the fuck had access <laughs> to my music. I never gave the order to take anything down. So how am I using you to take it down? Please. Elaborate, sir. Play the music. Because as soon as all the songs were removed from all streaming platforms, she was now able to re-upload the album and put everything in her name. Yep. yep. And did. And, that's what she- and did. Who's I it? did. Because whose album is it, bitch? It's mine. And if y'all want to sit here and negotiate over my project, then now you have to bring me to the table. Why? Because I have put it now in my name. So now guess what? You want to get your splits? You want to get your rights? You want to get all that? Now you got to send me your number so I can put that shit in. Because y'all didn't give me the courtesy of doing that shit for me in the first place. Right? Because I'm still a fucking fair woman. I was still willing to give Manic his cut. Anybody. They would have sent me their fucking ass cap. They would have sent me their fucking shit. I was willing to give them that, bro, because I'm fair. And because of the agreement, again, the agreement that me and Manic had before a Sambo, before an SPM, okay? Because mind you, when Sambo dropped me back in June, I called Manic. And we were on the phone for almost an hour, ironing out the details. And the details that SPM wants to talk about and that Manic wants to sit here and say, that was not it. Play it. He did. And the thing is, most people are owed money. It's just like a pawn shop. If somebody invested something into your property and they're holding the property, you got to pay them back their investment. Correct. You got to pay them. Correct. You, I, don't, I don't ever expect anything for, in, for, in, for, in, for, for nothing. You get what I'm saying? When I was talking to Sambo, I said, okay, who's paying for all this? Who's paying for the studio time? Who's paying for the videos? You don't worry about it, mama. You don't worry about it. I got you. You don't worry about it. I got you. And I was like, no, I'm worried about it because I want to know what the fuck's going on. You don't worry about it. I got you. You don't worry about it. I got you. I recorded my album in three studio sessions. Three studio sessions, bro. At most, at most, those studio sessions were three hours each. So a total of nine hours of studio time. Okay. We shot two videos. That is it. Out of the 10 songs that we had off the album, we shot two music videos. Okay? So, nine hours of studio time, two videos, and Manic's beats. Again, Manic should get paid for his beats. I get that, right? But to sit here and charge SPM 10K for the album, 10K for the videos, and saying that it was 50-50 until I paid Manic off 20K, that was not the agreement. Hey, hey can I throw this in there real quick? What? Tell him. The contract, okay, I came to you and I said, what is the deal between you and Manic? And we wrote up a contract. And we wrote up a 50-50 contract. We Manic. wrote up a contract. What happened when you went to Manic with the contract? I took it to Manic and I said, let's do this. He said, no, we, we, you know, we could do the contract and it could be that. He said, or 
I'm putting 2500 at the table because that's what he's valuing my album at. He said, because I said, yo, Sambo dropped me and I don't know what the fuck's going on. And I don't have money to pay you 10K because I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have money. Because Sambo told me, Sambo told me, if you want the album, it's 10K. And I'm like, I don't have 10K to give this man. So I'm talking to Manic and I'm like, okay. What he's like, the album is worth 2500. He said, but you know what? I'm gonna put these 2500. You put the other 2500 in the videos, in the PR, in the marketing. You put that. So basically, we were supposed to match at the table 2500. You get what I'm saying? So that's why I'm so confused. Why? Two months later, you're sitting here trying to sell my album when you told me, you told me it was only worth 2500, but you're getting paid seven racks. Sambo's getting paid another thousand for what? For what? And Lopez gets stuck out. Oh, but now I own my album for sure. Why? Because I re-uploaded it. Not because anyone gave it to me. Please don't Thank sit them. here. Tell Please tell don't them, sit here and act like them, these motherfuckers gave me anything. I re-uploaded my own shit. I put my own shit on my own distribution. And that's why I own my shit 100%. Because had I not done that, you better believe a Carlos Coy would have stole from me. You better believe a Manic Media would have been an accomplice, and so would a Sambo. They would have all took my shit, bro. Let's not sit here and play and act like we don't know what the fuck it is. Ask Gotti. <laughs> Ask fucking Gotti. Ask just in case. Yep. This man is into buying albums just so he can bench a bitch. Play that shit. But she saw a way to take her album from the pawn shop without paying what she owed. All that needed to happen... No, because like I already told y'all, the agreement that me and Manic had, I didn't owe anything. I didn't owe anything. I didn't owe anything because of the agreement that me and Manic had. What pawn shop? Go ahead. Now... So that's why she told us that four songs were still up on speed platforms. I thought she was trying to help us. But <laughs> nah, man, she we uploaded everything, and guess what? She didn't tell me anything. I told and him I the next day. I, I, I told him the next day. I told him the next day. As soon as I realized, um, I might be getting fucked over. I re-uploaded my shit. I can't call SPM. I re-uploaded my shit that night. The next day when I clocked in at work at Dope House, I told him when he called my phone, I told him. I re-uploaded my shit, da 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 And it wasn't a problem. It wasn't a problem until Sambo went to war with the Dope House. Play it. Play it. Play it. Never complained one bit. Never said... Not one thing was not legit. So check this out. At this time, I still didn't know that she did this. So let me explain the fucked up predicament this put me in when I had a meeting with you guys. A day after, I was in discussion with Mandy to get this deal done. I had the $8,000. I told him I needed all the stems, all the masters for every song. They got everything ready to go. But before I wired the 8,000, I just wanted to make extra sure that, Ma that Manic did own this album. Which he didn't. He previously said he didn't, that he didn't own the album. the album. Manic did not own the whole album, he owned 50. So anything that he was selling to fucking SPM would have been 50%. Okay? And that's the agreement that so me and Manic had. So Anything that SPM would have been buying off of my album would have been only 50% because I own the other half. Period. Tell me about the contract because everybody keeps talking about contracts and shit too. There was no contracts. They wouldn't sit me at the table. Y'all think it's easy being a female artist out here? These niggas for real, for real, don't want you at the table, bro. They don't want you at the table. They don't take you into consideration when they're sitting here talking about your project. How dare you speak on an album that is not yours with other people without the artist in the building? What guy, what male artist do you know that they do that to? Huh? What male artist do you know 
that these motherfuckers will sit here and discuss the royalties, the money, the this, the that, what it's worth on an album without the artist. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Play that shit. And I just wanted to ask a few questions. And that's when I found out what the agreement was. Yeah, because I told him what Manic said. That Manic truly believed he owned the album. No. Carlos, I'm a producer. I'm an engineer. I don't know a lot about the business side. But I know I own this album. He owned half of the album. What, I'm just chopped liver? I'm chopped liver? Because he makes the beats. I don't own shit. Because... Manic made all the beats. He owns everything. Hold on. Like, I didn't just go in there and lay all that fucking gold down on them fucking lyrics. I mean, on them bars, on them fucking beats. Like, I didn't lay those bars out. And I don't get shit, right? That's what I'm saying. He's sitting here saying he owns all of it. A lot of those songs Without me, on. there would be no song. So please explain to me how I'm getting cut out my own fucking album. Here we go. Shadow. Mm-hmm. And he had, you know, with Focus, he does not own the album. And, and, and I told him, I said, Manic, you're just like a pawn shop, you know? The pawn shop puts in the investment, and they all your property. It's that prison fucking mentality. Their investment for interest. Mm-hmm. The only mm-hmm. difference is you're not even asking for interest. But the fact remains. This is Lopez's album, and she pays what she owes. And what did Manic say? What did Manic say I owed him? Nothing. Because I'm supposed to put the, the money and the time in my music videos, my PR, my marketing, which I was. That's what I'm saying, though. He's saying that I owe Manic, that I owe the pawn shop. I don't owe him anything. He's the one that told me. If I would have paid him anything, if we would have put anything on that contract that I sent to him, it would have been $2,500. And I told him, okay, I'll pay you down, bro. I don't have it all like that, but I'll pay you the fuck down and I'll pay you those $2,500. He said, or we don't have to do no contract, none of that. And you meet me $2,500 and I meet you $2,500. I put the album out. I put the fucking, you know, the beats and, and the engineering and all that. This is my $2,500 at the table. And now, Lopez, you put the other $2,500 in the music videos and the marketing. But mind you, we dropped my album right before the fucking hurricane started. Right before that fucking bad weather started. So the album release, it was it was it was a good turnout, but it was not what it was supposed to be. You get what I'm saying? Cause Houston was going through it. So a lot of shit happened. We was all out of power for weeks. You get what I'm saying? There was a lot of shit that was going on, so the album did not get pushed properly. All the PR, all the marketing, all that. I'm still trying to fucking catch up from the goddamn hurricane, bro. I'm not going to sit here and cap. I'm not going to sit here and act like, oh, I'm a rich-ass motherfucker. No, I'm not. I got kids. I got bills. We all do, okay? So I can understand why Sambo and why Manic wanted to hit a lick after all this time. Because let's just call it for what it is. That's what they were trying to do. They were trying to hit a lick on SPM. And SPM was so willing to fuck me to let them. Let's go. I have an agreement on how much time she has to pay or any type of legal agreement. So if I bought this album, she could simply get a lawyer to retrieve it right back to her. <coughs> I cannot do this deal. Damn. Um, after and that, I cannot confirm or deny that conversation because I didn't talk to him. That was Manic and his conversation. According to him, he cannot do this deal, right? Hmm. He cannot do this deal. Of course, he can't do this deal because he can't do the deal. Now I I uploaded it. It's mine now. He can't do the deal, but he did the deal. He can't do the deal, but he still paid them. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Goodbyes. Because you know he fucked up. I immediately called Ian Lopez to tell her the deal. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. The last conversation we had was. And that's on one, two, three, four. If you know anything about angel numbers, if you know anything about the universe, if you know anything about confirmation, that's on one, two, three, four. This motherfucker called me only to tell me he was buying the album. I said, whoa. I said, all before my songs are up. And I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know. I got to talk to Manny. 
I reached out to Manic. He never answered me. Okay? But we did not talk again until later that night after. He didn't answer because he was doing shady things. I re-uploaded my album. He didn't answer though because he was doing shady business already. And he says, oh, I called her right away to tell her I'm not doing the deal. No, he didn't. He told Manic that he wasn't doing the deal. They took it down before you... He told it? Manic that he wasn't doing the deal. He didn't tell me that he wasn't doing the deal. I didn't know that there was a problem with me re-uploading my own shit until 8.30 that night, which I have recordings on. Come on. And legally buy that album, it's yours. Um, you just have to pay them what you owe them. I'm I don't owe them shit. shit. So I, I don't know that shit. Went back to work. Mm -hmm. Here's the deal, Shadow. I did not know that she uploaded the album on her own. I she told him. Told please lie. Please. No, she never told Oh, my God. He just straight lied. Okay. I'm lit. Yes, I'm lit because I'm celebrating. Because I can prove... <laughs> Everything. I can prove everything, okay? This man is out of there. He said, I never told him. He said, I never told him. Call the fucking Ramsey unit right now and pull the fucking recordings, bitch. Pull the recordings because I told you I re-uploaded it. Wrong first step. I told you I re-uploaded it so many times. I told you like three different times in the same phone call because this motherfucker wants to stay on the phone for the full 30 minutes wrong first step okay he just lied saying i never told him i got receipts where i did go ahead <coughs> and so does the ramsey they unit they already knew she did it who and i know this because a couple of hours later i called odalis she was in studio a working with slow life on some music she Love said hey what's going on i said what do you mean she said, those guys are fucking mad that that deal with Lopez album didn't go through. Because it wasn't supposed said, to be a deal. Fault. I can't legally buy that album. And no doubt that said, chills up my spine. She said, Carlos, I am Lopez just told me that she re-uploaded her album last night. But I told him yeah. before I told Dallas. I told him on the phone call before I told Dallas. Literally, I was standing in the dope house stock room where all the shirts are for the shirt for the fucking store. And I told that man that I re-uploaded it. Okay? Yeah, they got cameras. And then exactly, they, they got, got cam they got cameras and audio at the dope house, Everywhere. okay? Everywhere. And then I proceeded to walk into the room where Odalis is, is and I told her I re-uploaded the album. And she said, oh, well, that's good, girl. You know, make sure you get paid, you know. Da -da -da. Oh, Dallas was cool with it. So I'm like, okay. And I guess this is the conversation that happened after that. See, Monks All right, here we go. Her name to her distribution. And that's when I found out. So right. listen, guys. Hold on. First of all, the way he's talking is like, that's, and that's how I found that. Like he's a such a liar. Dog. Like a little lying ass. Play it! Dog. Fuck that motherfucker. He's and lying. The world is listening. The world Even is listening. I did not know that Lopez did this shit. The guys that I was doing the deal with did know. No, they didn't. So they think that I was acting like I just wanted to. No, Sambo out. just wants beef with SPM. Let's just call it for what it is. Sambo's a jealous ass motherfucker and wants beef with SPM. So what? Lopez was a pawn. Lopez was easy to just, oh, he's mad that he couldn't get a lick. He's mad that Lopez was like, no, what are you trying to do? You're trying to buy my album? You can't buy my album. That's not yours to sell. And so SPM's like, no, I can't do the deal. So yeah, they're mad. They're mad. And oh, I caused the war. Come on. To get them to take it down so that Lopez can re-upload the album in her name. It just jacked him out of four months of hard work. Four months? I jacked them out of four months of hard work? I jacked them? Wow. Like I said, three studio sessions. At most, at most, three hours each. I went to one. You do the so math. How many hours total? Nine. Nine hours. Nine hours, and I gave you ten tracks. And you're talking about four months of work? 
If it takes your ass four months to mix something, then you shouldn't fucking be mixing, dog. Did y'all not know nine hours is equivalent to four months? I mean, fuck. Fuck. What are you talking about? Play that. Album and not give them a penny. <laughs> not give him a penny. Sambo was supposed to be paying everything. Remember I said, Sambo said, don't worry about it, mama. I got you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm taking care of Manic. I'm taking care of Manic. Don't worry about it. Very much like a pimp, dog. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And I'm very much worried about it. I'm like, mm, something don't feel right. Yo, también. I should have fucking known better, right? But, but according to him, according to him, I owe all this money. Fuck out of here. Y'all came and disrupted my life. First of all, y'all came and asked for me, bitch. The fuck? Play it. This is why there was so much anger coming from their side. So I called Lopez with a quickness. I said, hey, did you upload your album on your own? She said, yeah. I just take that fucking album down right now. You're about and I want you to. Can he tell you what to do with your album? And I want you to understand. This man don't know me from filth. Okay, and he calls my phone, talking to me crazy, crazy. You just started a war between the most dangerous Tango Blast member and. Dope House Records. You need to take your album down right now. Yelling at me like I'm his daughter or like I'm his fucking wife or something, dog. What the fuck? Like he said. First of all, he, he, he just know. said it. You, you can't say to take somebody's fucking album. Take the fucking album down now. I know, only you media. I know, I know. And hey, you live and you fucking learn, dog. You ready? Yeah. Here we go. Just start those fucking shit, dog. And she was like, "How am I talking some shit? Y'all the ones keeping me out of these conversations about my album." And what? I said, first of all, I kept you up on everything I'm doing. No, you did it. First conversation I had. I called you up afterwards and told you I was buying that album. You had no... He told me. It. Mind you, he told me. He didn't ask me. He told me. After he already had multiple conversations with Sambo. About my album. <clears throat> Let's go. That's the reason I thought the shit was legit. That's the reason I thought the shit was legit. You've been doing business for how long? I was in fucking tarantarants. When your ass was out here, I was in Tarantarans. Okay, I was in Tarantarans when your ass was out here doing album deals and doing all this shit. And you want to talk about, I didn't know and did it. No, bro, no. You knew exactly what the fuck you were doing. And you thought that Lopez was a peneja. Go ahead. Hold on. Not how many album deals have you done. How many album deals have you screwed people over? How many album deals have you screwed people over? <laughs> Is his third wife born yet? Yeah. Fuck.